Hello, this is Bobby from HMY. I'm here uh, taking a look at this uh, 42 Viking sport yacht. Um, so I want to take you a quick tour of the boat and uh, show you the, the ins and outs of it. So this is probably, well, I think it's only one of the whole uh, production line of this boat that came out with a sea keeper. So uh, she does have a sea keeper installed and I'll show you where it's located on the boat, okay? So let's jump on board. It's kind of windy today, so there's some leaves on the back deck uh, from all the wind. But as you can see there, you have um, a release chair. It's called the, I think that's called the battle station. Uh, release makes it. And then you have a mezzanine seating under there. You have tackle storage right behind uh, the little drawer. And same thing there. And then this whole, that whole contraption just flips up. And then you have access to the engines, which is pretty good uh, for a boat of its size. Okay. So let's, uh, let's jump on board here. It's going to walk up forward here. So this is a sport tower model because it has the, the fiberglass uh, full enclosure all around, which is good for air conditioning and so on. Just uh, going over the back deck, that is access to your pods, pod one, pod two, and then here you have uh, access to your lazarette, fish box there, fish box over there, and then you have a live well, or some people use a fish box also. So the ice shipper does dump into this box right here, okay? So the cushions are in good shape. Again, I'll open this up so you can see the engine room access in a bit. Uh, but let's just keep walking through. So this is like a polycarbonate uh, enclosure, basically, and it has a, a door that zips in. You have this carpet that's removable, and then you also have access, a day hatch, to get into the engine room if you need to. This area here is all air conditioned. Again, fiberglass hard top, which is nice. And then you have two, three release uh, home chairs here. This is like a little um, spot to keep your suntan lotion and there's like a little spigot for water. This is, uh, they use it as a uh, insulated storage. It does have the capability of being um, refrigerated. I think the compressor's out on it right now. There's a lot of storage under these seats, both on the port and the starboard. Okay, Palm Beach home style. So the thousand hour service is done in June of 20, and you're looking at, uh, where are the hours here? They're right about, I think, 1200 hours in the boat, and then about 2000 hours on the engine. Touchscreen GPS is that's your control for your ice chipper. That is uh, your um, data log, your sea keeper. Second GPS. Here you have um, VHF. This is your control for your skyhook. And then on this side, secondary VHF, joystick, um, floor night vision. She's fully equipped. And then here you have uh, access to your teaser wheels. I'm not sure, I'm not sure but if that has, yep, it does have the teaser wheels. And then you have rod storage there and rod storage up here. So let's head down to the cabin. So stepping down, you have four steps. Here you've got your master with access to the head. This room is carpeted. Here you've got your head with a stall shower. Tico flowing throughout. Here we're looking at the cockpit for the helm area. Here's your galley, under counter refrigeration. Here's your electrical panel. Storage. More storage here. Convection oven. Okay, so here's your um, second stateroom, which is just under the helm deck. 
and this raised area here is where the sea keeper is. So you have a little cabinet storage there. So if this boat wouldn't have a sea keeper, basically this center section would not be here. And then you have a TV hanging on the wall. So we'll uh, take a look here at the cabin. From this angle, you have a high-low table. This makes into a bed also. The cushion is right back there. So you can sleep uh, two, four, six, seven, eight tight, depending on how the people are put together. So I'll open up the engine room hatch real quick and show you the engine room. Just bear with me here. Phaser generator, the twin Cummings 600s. So you got your ice chipper here. The engine room axis is very, very good for one of its size. You can work on all, in, all sides of the engine. So we got a little pump room back there. So it's very, very nice. And then uh, just moving back here. Here are the top ends of your pots. So those are easy to service as well. And then we'll take a look up here in the tower. We won't climb, it's just tough to, uh, to do with the phone, but the tower is in excellent condition. Uh, you can access it from both sides. Lots of, uh, you know, rod holders and center rigger, outriggers, and she's totally equipped for fishing. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me, 305-308-0730. Thank you.